Which would it be, economy or elegance? Although the city's postal service began in 1856, it had been located in rented space until construction of this building. In 1906, Congress approved the funds for a new post office in New Ulm. The selection of a site was relatively easy. The corner of Broadway and Center Streets was one of the key intersections in the city. But what would the building look like? At the time, the Office of Supervising Architect under the Treasury Department managed the design and construction of all non-military federal buildings. And in that year, it was under the leadership of James Knox Taylor. During his tenure as supervising architect, he shifted the prevailing architectural styles from the heavier Romanesque to the more formal neoclassical approach, with the typical design showing a box-like shape, a flat roof, and elaborate ornamentation. But when Taylor's initial drawings arrived in New Ulm, local residents complained. They said that the tentative plans showed a lack of architectural beauty, and so the project ground to a halt. In response, the budget was increased from $30,000 to $50,000, and Taylor's office drafted new plans. He was familiar with Minnesota, having been a partner with Cass Gilbert in St. Paul, and so it is likely that he knew about New Ulm's German heritage. His new drawings featured a steeply pitched roof and step gables that evoked the German Renaissance, unlike any other design that came from the supervising architect's office that decade. The battle between economy and elegance was not completely over. After the contract was given to the low bidders, Stuart and Hager of Janesville, Wisconsin, the government substituted terracotta ornamentation for the intended limestone so that the project would fit within its budget. Construction began in early 1909, and the new post office opened the following year. A few years later, a visitor to town wrote, The federal building at New Ulm differs so much from the average building that post office inspectors have been known to give up in despair trying to find the post office. In construction, it is absolutely distinct, the architecture being decidedly in keeping with the fatherland. It is said to be the first instance on the part of the government where a deviation was made in the architecture of a government building, and it immediately attracts the attention of the visitor. Within two years, though, the federal government instituted new construction guidelines for post office buildings, requiring standard plans for small towns. It was the victory of economy over elegance. This building is now the home of the Brown County Historical Society, and the post office building has become a well-loved and distinctive local landmark. <laughs>